Alright guys, welcome back to another Fortnite video and in this one we have got a ton of fun stuff to talk about. I'm sorry I didn't put up a video yesterday, got busy with different things, it happens, but today I'm going to make up for it with a very fun video going through a bunch of different things, a bunch of secret changes, secret additions that were added in the Season 5 update that you guys probably missed. Now of course there's been a ton of amazing things that have been added, but let's go through some of the less obvious things. Obviously you guys know about the ATK, the new parts of the map, so let's explore the even more secret thing something to do with like the item shop the merry marauder maybe coming back that's an important one and even like some secret things on the map so yeah guys it's going to be a very fun video and as always if you enjoy it be sure to hit that like button down below it seriously helps me out so much seeing the support on the videos and encourages me to make more of these along with that be sure to comment your favorite part of season five so far is it the new paradise palms is it the new atk i mean personally i think the atk is like one of the funnest things in the game i love using that so much and we We've even got a little thing to talk about with that. So yeah, guys, without further ado, let's just jump on into it. So starting it off here with a pretty fun one, one that I think some of you might know, but some of you might not. But this actually has to do with the item shop, and it's been something that we've wanted for quite a while, but didn't really expect to get it. So if you want to see this, you can go into either your locker or the item shop, obviously, and basically find one of the pickaxes. Now, in the past, you just got to look at the pickaxe itself. It was nothing that special, but I believe starting today, and I'm I'm hoping I didn't just notice this in the past, but starting with the Season 5 update, you can now see the effects and sounds it has when hitting materials in-game, without even buying it by the way. As you can see on Xbox, if you look at the bottom right corner, you press Y to see the animation, and also if you listen closely, you can hear the sounds. Like this one right here isn't actually that special, and not really a good way of showcasing this, but instead if you go to like one of the ones I have in my locker, let's say the, uh, the party animal, one of my favorites, let's check out that one, and when you press Y, you can see that it actually has the animation of the slurp juice, you know, coming out of stuff when you hit things in game. And on top of that, it also makes the sounds of the pickaxe, which you can especially hear with the ACDC, and I'll play that right now. But yeah, the first sound is the normal one, and then the second one is the sound that the uh, specialized pickaxe actually makes. So overall, that should be very helpful for considering when you want to buy an item, and it's kind of a secret thing, but I think it's pretty important. But moving on here guys, this one I actually have to get into game to show you because it has to do with the new ATK. So hopefully I can get it this game, I might have to do it in a different game. But it's not like the uh, drifting stuff. I know you guys have experienced that, but it's something even more pretty secret with uh, the ATK itself. So let's see if we can find one right here. Alright, so there should be one right around here. Oh, there's one. <laughs> Alright, so we do have an ATK, so let's get it out here. Don't shoot me, don't be a scumbag. Go away. Let's put it in this safe spot right here. So the ATK, did you know that there's actually a little bit of a secret for when you jump on top of it? If you jump on top of it, it acts a little bit like tires. Not quite the bouncer pad, like Epic Games said it was supposed to act like a bouncer pad, but it's more so tires. But it is pretty funny that if you jump on top of it, you can actually, you know, bounce up into the air. So I figured that's something that not a ton of people know. And I thought I might as well add it for those people that don't know. I'm not sure if you could hit like crazy trick shots or if somebody's driving at you, you could like jump on top of it and jump around and try and snipe them. Either way, it's a fun little addition. Hey, we're back in the battle bus. Would you look at that? Because we need to do another one that's actually over here <laughs> but yes for this one you do need to go over to paradise palms and this one might be a little tough it's on the opponent's side but there's something interesting around this area right here that i want to show you so if we go all the way over there we'll skip all that gliding stuff that took a while but again if you go over to this area right about yeah right here we found it so there's this little thing it's uh i don't know like exactly what it's called but it's a uh, you know it's a speed Thing. I'm forgetting like what exactly it's supposed to be called, but as you can see, it actually works. So if you run straight towards it, you're going about 12 miles per hour, I think. Maybe 12 miles per hour, and then if you like walk towards it, you go 9. It's pretty funny actually that it works that way. And if you're going backwards for some reason, it's 5. Like if we go, if we go back like this and quickly turn around... Yeah, we go like 5 miles per hour. So it's just kind of like a random thing that doesn't really have much of a use, but it's kind of funny to see how fast you're going, and maybe this will actually like help us determine how fast we can go to like escape the storm. And also it does work with like the ATK, I believe it goes like 30 miles per hour, and then if you and then if you also use like impulse grenades, it goes even faster. But I don't think we're going to be able to find an ATK this game, so I'll leave that to you guys to try out. But either way, it is a pretty funny little thing. Now after that then, we have a pretty huge change to be honest. This one 
one is really big and especially if you were trying to grind for level 80 omega last season and that was an incredible grind that was so much of a grind i made it to level 80 and that was it but in case you were curious that grind no longer exists with this current season and what i mean by that is once you buy the battle pass you can work towards those higher upgraded skins for as long as you want it doesn't even have to be in this season which is super important and it's something that's not like made apparently clear when you look at the upgradable skins so you know what let's go through some of the details here and confirm just exactly what this means well first of all when you go into your challenges and right now i can only show you the drift but it is the same exact thing for the ragnarok but if you go into like drifts uh challenges here you see that you unlock the different things kind of similar to last season but this time it is based on experience not levels just experience now drift goes up to 200,000, and i believe ragnarok goes up to 500,000. you guys might have to correct me on that if i'm wrong but since it is experience epic games has confirmed that you can continue to gain experience towards the challenge in the next season or just any season coming up so yeah guys you don't have to sit and grind and try and get it before the season ends you can do it at your own pace if you want to get it faster of course you can play more if you're fine having it take longer like i'm probably gonna do you can just wait it out have fun with it and you'll eventually get it so that's a very fun change i'm super happy about that one now after that we have one that has to do with a weapon nerf not a buff i think there were some different like nerfs and buffs but mainly nerfs and this one is an important one because it has to do with one of the best items in the game that was like buffed like crazy i think you guys know what i'm talking about the c4 well it recently did get a little bit of uh you know change to make it a little bit less like super powerful and destroying just every single structure in its path seriously if you have a stack of those your enemies will be afraid i'll be afraid if you have a stack of those they are crazy but yeah the nerf that i'm talking about here is that they now are only able to detonate if they are attached to a structure so you can no longer detonate them when they are in the air so you do have to wait until they actually get to the building itself which is going to be interesting because i myself have detonated them a ton in the air generally when i'm trying to get them detonated quick i'm in a build fight i'm throwing it towards somebody trying to build up against me and also sometimes you can't even like reach it that far because the c4 doesn't throw that far so you do try to detonate it in the air so it will be interesting to see how that plays out i'm sorry i wasn't able to get a clip for you guys trying to get this video out as quickly as possible but i mean i think you guys can imagine how that works i'm curious to see how like tifu or the pro players are going to use it and stuff like that because i feel like it will change c4 just enough to make it a little bit less powerful but moving on again here to one of the most important things that i want to talk about in today's video that is that the merry marauder this skin that you see right here the creepy gingerbread skin that's just he's out there i'll admit that but there is a slight possibility that he may be coming back in the future and i say slight because this is just conspiracy stuff right now there's only a few little connections but they are interesting connections that suggest that maybe he is coming back so again take it with a grain of salt but let's jump into it here with some of the clues that make this seem possible so first of all you have this picture that was tweeted by fortnite a little bit ago to advertise some of the new skins and at first it seems like a perfectly normal picture obviously you have the new skins themselves a couple skins like in the shop but if you look very closely in the top left corner you can see a blurred out merry marauder and he's just looking all sneaky up there peeking over the big shot espresso sign and that's just very interesting i mean come on guys how many times has epic added in these little secrets and stuff and they've meant something coming up in the near future a lot of people might think this is just a coincidence or them doing something funny but he is so hidden in this picture and i mean considering that epic has hidden things and like spectrograms of random sounds with the riffs stuff like that i would not put it past them to hint at this skin coming back especially since the red knight just came back as well that's another important thing when it comes to this but on top of that there was also an employee at fortnite that commented about this and just said like hey and zoomed in on the picture up there so that too might be a little bit more confirmation but on top of that there's one other thing that's important to talk about here and that is this other promotional picture which again seems very innocent at first and this one was released a long time when this dinosaur skin came into the game but with this one if you look again closely you can see the merry marauder once more doing a very similar thing just kind of looking in all creepy like <laughs> but yeah does that mean that something is going to be done with the merry marauder is it maybe just a joke and it's not going to mean anything we're not 100 sure but i'm excited maybe this is coming up soon maybe we're going to have to wait for christmas i don't know yet but leave your comments down below on what you think of the merry marauder if it does come back into the shop but moving on to the final thing i want to talk about in this video this one is a another one that has to do with xp but a little bit different from actually unlocking things this is actually a brand new way of earning 
experience. So yeah, we wanted some new ways to earn experience and this is kind of an interesting way of doing it. So how can you earn brand new experience in the new modes? Well, if we go straight to Epic Games, they have said specifically, quote, you now earn XP for reviving teammates in 50v50 and teams of 20 LTMs or limited time modes. I mean, code words. <laughs> but that's up to three times per match and it goes from 30 experience to 10 experience to another 10 experience. So really not that much experience, but it's something to maybe keep in mind. You can get 50 fairly easily. The first 30 is going to be super easy. But again, is it super worth it? Eh, I don't know. But it is there for those of you who want an easy way of getting XP. Maybe you do have a tough time getting eliminations. This could be a faster way of doing it and something to keep in mind, especially if you have the battle pass bonuses with your friends. Eventually that could turn into like, if you do 50 XP normally with this, I think it eventually turns into over 120, something like that. I don't remember exactly. But hey, why would you ever be mad at an extra way to get experience? But yeah, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, be sure to subscribe for more of these videos coming up in the near future. Along with that, you can check out my week one guide for the battle pass on the left, as well as another fun video on the right. I'm sure you guys will love. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoy this video and I will see you in the next one.